We need to have that knowledge in order to regain and to bring back into focus the moderation of Islam. To find that middle path. Because if we remain ignorant, then we remain easy targets for ISIS. Boko Haram, Abu Sayyaf, Qaeda, whatever. Allah come. How do we protect how do we protect ourselves from these types of things, movements and groups and extremes? By having proper knowledge of Islam. This is the root. This is the ultimately the only root. And know with certainty that we will never establish Islam by creating a small group of guerrillas who arm ourselves and then go and try to grab power, grab the leaders of the country, execute them and say, Sharia, now. No, though it might sound adventurous, make a nice movie, that's not how it's going to happen. It didn't happen that way in the time of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, And he could have done it. He could have gotten Hamza, Umar ibn al-Khattab, other leading warriors amongst the Sahaba. He could have gathered them and caught the leaders of Quraysh in one of their meetings and just slaughtered them. Took over. Sharia. In Mecca. But he didn't. That wasn't his way. فَمَنْ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي And whoever chooses a way other than that of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they're not true Muslims. They've gone to extremes. They've left the path. They've lost their way. We'll not say they're not Muslims, but they've lost their way.